And I thought I'll just hop on to Instagram Live. I haven't gone, come on for a long time because I've been busy creating my course Asian Sweets and Treats. So now it's available, not available, but now it's almost ready. I just have two more, um, just a welcome video and a thank you video to upload and then, um, and then we're done. And then I'll be launching it on 1st of May. And this is going to be in conjunction with the um, Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. So I thought I'll just hop on now and make my lunch. And if you guys have any questions about um, the new course, Asian Sweets and Treats, um, I thought uh, I thought you can ask it here. Yeah. Hello, you two. Be beautiful. Hello, Ami Sherry. Hello, Nate Fasia. Hello, Paradise JK. Yeah, I don't know how long this will take. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes I take a long time to cut out all my veggies. Um, but yeah, I'm just making like a big giant salad with um, one pound of greens. Um, so I think I'll just show you what greens there are inside my salad. And um, yeah, and then just uh, pose any questions that you have. I'm just opening up my... Oh, I should just show you. Maybe. Can I? Um, yeah, I'm just show, opening up the course booklet for my Asian Sweets and Treats. Yeah. Oh, hi, Sarika. Nice to see you. Hello. I so much. So, um, this is the course booklet for the course that is launching 1st of May. Um, 1st of May, Malaysian US time. Well, Malaysian time is what? 10 p.m. And then um, these are already... Um, <laughs> the cost materials they're like 36 I think they're like 39 videos on it something yeah so I'll just read it out while I make my um, while I make my lunch um, yeah so I'm putting in some down pagaga in my salad let's see if you can see that yeah uh, and I'll chop stuff up oh hello Nev hello Michelle Deborah um, this is snake grass, so I'm putting that into my cell as well. So I got some of the greens from um, Kebun Community Hartama. So I dropped off my, I dropped off my com, my fruit peels and all that yesterday, and I picked up some of these as well. Yeah, you. How how are you doing, Neb? Yeah. Now that things have all opened up, I've been out. Well, I go out like three times a week, I think, or something, so... So I'm not at home, so I don't do lives every day anymore. Um, these are four angle beans, yeah. So I'm gonna... You can eat them raw. We usually, in Malaysia, it's eaten as ulam, and they eat it, like, um, with some sambal. Yeah. Um, there is a sambal recipe in, uh, on YouTube. For on delicious with raw chef yin. Um, I also came out with another sambal recipe. Nev is great living in LA. Oh, you moved to. Oh, not you move. Oh, you what? Were you? You used to be in New York City, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Hello, Yo Yiling. Okay, so I have like this amount of greens to cut out. <laughs> and I don't know how long it'll take because if I'm going to be talking, it might take longer. Oh, there's some mints as well. Yeah, I was in New, New York City. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I was half wondering whether I just put the mint in my smoothie, but today I didn't make any smoothies, so I'm just going to put it into... Yeah, into the salad. I have some watercress because um, watercress is cruciferous veggies. Um, and I am following. Who am I following? I think I'm following Dr. F Was it Dr. Furman who said we need some cruciferous veggies? So, um, yeah, I decided to get the watercress instead of the kale. I mean, I do eat kale as well. Like, there are more vegan restaurants in a LA than. Then um, New York City. Uh, and uh, Nev says, came out here to be by the ocean. Oh, nice. LA capital of vegan restaurants. 
Yeah, so I'm trying to remember. I was in LA in 2020, right before the um, pandemic hit. And um, yeah, it was fun. Um, I'm trying to remember where we went. LA, LA, LA. We went to plant food and wine. We also went to um, this other place that was really nice. Our friends brought us there. Uh, vegan food, totally vegan. I can't remember the the name of the place anymore. Yeah, and yeah, more than it. It it was something that um, how does someone say they they have more than one outlet. I remember, and um, anyway, the food there was really good. Um, we also went to uh that macaron shop um in Hollywood. I'm trying to remember whether we went to cafe. No, we, we wanted to go to Cafe Gratitude, but I think they've closed already. Yeah. Um, where else did you go? I went to Plant Food and Wine. Oh, I went to the... There was another restaurant on um, Albert Kinney as well. I can't remember, but yeah. Uh, this is Kang Kong. Yeah, so I'm putting in some Kang Kong as well. We're basically one pound of greens, but they are all like different kinds of greens, so it'll take me slightly longer to um, chop. Yeah. Tons of options in LA. I do miss New York City. The food is more exciting in New York City. <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, yeah, Nev, what's your like, um, maybe, what would you suggest? Let's say if I do ever go back to LA again, what's the top three places you think I should go? Around. Oh, we went to Double Zero. This is really good pizza. Really good vegan and gluten free pizza. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah. I mean, like, my US trip, I basically just went to. I think I tried out four or five of the Matthew Penny restaurants and some other places as well. But we only eat LA for a few days, so. Uh, more of. More Kang Kong, I think. Mm. Yeah, I have sawtooth coriander as well, uh, and then we have pagaga. Uh, what's this called? I can't remember. Mudworth pennyworth. I think Asian pennyworth, right? Yeah. More sawtooth coriander. Sojin, all vegan Oh! Yes, yes, yes! I went to Sojin. I actually met up with um, Mariko Sakata in uh, Sojin. Mariko is a friend of mine. Um, she also used to teach part-time at Matthew Kenny as well. Um, when Matthew Kenny was still around. Yeah, so we went to Sojin. Yeah, I really like that. Yes, that was nice. Uh, Pura Vita Italian. Um, the Chinatown in New York City, there's no door. <laughs> I went to the Chinatown in New York City. Um, I went to, there was a vegan grocer there. And I bought a lot of artisanal um, vegan cheese there. So that was fun. I'm putting in a long bean as well. Yeah. Uh, Pura Vita Italian. I'm trying to remember whether we went to Pura. I don't think so. Yeah. No, I don't think so. You know that we we were in Boston, we were in Berkeley, we were in was in Berkeley, California. We were in Berkeley for one week. Yeah. I grow long bean. Oh nice. Um where are you? I'm a Sherry. Yeah. Where do you live? Hello, Usaji84. Okay, so I have this. Um, in, Mal in Malay, we call it Ulam Raja. Um, King of the Ulams. Um, the scientific name is Cosmos Caudatos. I don't know whether, uh, yeah. Mm, uh, Long Bay is more sweeter than the short one. Amazing, New York City. Oh, nice. 
Nev says she's a fantastic chef from Brooklyn, really amazing food. We were in Brooklyn for a few hours to meet a friend. Um, our friend wanted to take us to this Thai place, but when we went there, it was closed. So we kind of walked around and then I think we just had like, I don't know, they were having breakfast, I think. So was it bagels or something in Brooklyn? I don't know. But Brooklyn was nice, but we were only there for a few hours. I wish we were there longer. Yeah. Uh, Ahmed is going to Florida tomorrow. What is the flavor like for those greens? Oh, you know what? This is really interesting. This is kind of lemony. So it's bitter. It's a bit bitter. It's lemony. It's herb as well. It's supposed to have medicinal values. It's believed to have medicinal values. Yeah. Um, a lot of times we eat it raw and then together with sambal. Yeah. So... Yeah. Florida, I haven't been to Florida. I would like to go. Yeah. I think that's one of the places I want to go. I've never been, yeah. I've been to US for like, I don't know, 15 times already, but I've never been to Florida. Um, Rosha Carla did say like the last trip, she's like, come to Florida. And then I didn't. And then now I'm like, oh, I wish I did. Cause I thought it was like, ah, it's hot. Like Malaysia's so I didn't want to, I don't know. But now it's like, oh, that seems more cool to be. So um, this was from the community garden. This is actually bok choy. Um, yeah, just like some small ones. So putting that in as well. Yeah. More sort of coriander. This is used a lot in Vietnamese cooking. Yeah. Let me Google Shoji. There are, there's a new beach there. I'll take you there and go naked together. Hura. <laughs> What's the weather like in Florida right now? Does anybody know? Okay. I have never been to a nude beach before. I don't know how uh, Mr. Jess guitarist would feel if I go to a nude beach. Ah, ah, ah. But yes, Misfit Vegan is in Florida, so that's a, that's a reason to visit. Rose Chef Carla is in Florida as well, so that's a reason to visit, yeah. Is there a new beach in Malaysia? No. No, um, we are uh, officially a Muslim country, so um, no such thing is allowed. I think if you go... I believe people, I believe reading the news, I've seen like people get fined for um, skinny dipping. So no, no, no new beaches here. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's generally very, very conservative. Yeah. But yeah, I, I believe I read about people getting fined. <laughs> that's, that's such an interesting uh, question. Okay, and then I have, um, I think this is Gailan. I These are the ones that I got from my veggie delivery. Yeah, so I need to use them up because some of it is already getting yellow. Uh, I heard Singapore is strict. Yeah, Singapore is very strict. Singapore is like extremely strict. Yeah. I mean, you know, even in the parks, they have signs saying like, uh, Dilarang Perlakuan Sumbang. So it's like, um, you can't make out in a park. Yeah. I mean, you, well, you can, but you might get fine. <laughs> There's always signs, yeah, saying like, no stuff. I don't know whether I've seen any signs saying like, no nudity or not on the beach. I know I've seen signs that said no trespassing. When we were in Langkawi, it was very strange, not very strange, but I would have thought like um, the beach is a public area, right? And, um, but we weren't allowed to go to certain places. I mean, there were signs saying like, no trespassing, private property. I mean, the land itself is property, I understand, but the beach and the, the sea.
see. Can you even claim private private property to that? Yeah. They can't even chew gum. Yes, that is true. Um wait, let me think. I think possession of chewing gum is okay, but selling chewing gum is a problem. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't chew gum anymore, so... I used to go to Singapore a lot when I was in the corporate world. I used to travel there like every month. And then... I've also presented at the Singapore Vegan Pet Festival twice. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm quite familiar with Singapore because um, when I was in the corporate world, I used to... Singapore was one of my markets, yeah. Even Singapore men are strict. No joke, super serious. Good Cheryl. <laughs> Different sense of humor. Depending, yeah. Depending who you meet, I suppose. Hello, good Cheryl. I chew mint leaves nowadays. <laughs> oh yeah, I had some mints inside here just now. I realized because I'm putting my cutting board different way that I usually put so um, this is taking a bit longer not longer but it's just like there's more steps to cutting it oh I was supposed to soak my um, goji berries let me do that uh, Nav says it's great seeing you share her great day your salad sounds yummy oh thanks yeah it's just like one of my giant green salads and I'll put in all the other things as well but yeah um, let me soak my, my, yeah, yeah, okay, so I have goji berries, dried goji berries, so I'm going to rehydrate them. Mm. Yeah. So I put this in my salads, um, every time because, um, for their nutritional value. Yeah. Try and put more. So that's what it looks like. Uh, this is my first time catch your life. So exciting. Yeah, I haven't done my life for a long time. You know why? Um, I think the last time I did was in February. And then after that, because I've been working on this course, uh, this Agent Sweets and Treats course, and it's like... Um, so I was working on developing the recipes, testing the recipes, taking the photos, editing the videos, typing out the recipe booklet. So yeah, it's a lot. But I am launching it on 1st of May. Wow, it's going to be May already. Yeah, okay. So this is wakame. Um, it's uh, seaweed. So I'm putting that into just like filtered water to rehydrate it yeah yeah i think there's time difference so i never catch it before oh yeah yeah that's right that's true but i haven't yeah i usually do my live around this time because this is the time that i'm making lunch or making food kind of thing yeah so so yeah my course um if there's going to be asian desserts from um, recipes from Malaysia, from Thailand, from Japan, from Korea, from India. Yeah. Okay, I think this is the last bit that I'm cutting. This is the Indian Boraj. Ooh, they've got like... It turns black very fast though, so... Yeah, I need to like quickly use it. Ideally, I need to... Um, ideally, I actually need to... I should use it on that day itself. Um, I remember my dad used to used to make soup with this. It's supposed to be it helps if you have cough. Um, as a kid, I used to have cough all the time. Uh, now I think it's just because of all the milk they made me drink, so it's like so inflammatory. Because once I became raw vegan, I the coughing stopped. And the um, flu stopped as well. Um, my eczema healed, so yeah. Hello, Salon Tigris. Hello, Suzu Vegan Penang. We are making um, 
my lunch so i thought i'll just come on chit chat if you guys have any questions um drop it below also wanted to tell you that the ultimate raw vegan bundle is back it is going to be here on first of may i can't say much yet but first of may we will reveal all the details yeah so okay so that's all my greens i have one pound of greens or 450 grams of greens um I'm going to put like, um, I have like something from leftover from my sauce. I'm going to use this as part of the dressing, but I'm also going to put in other things as well just to like make it taste better. Ooh, yeah, hmm, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think I'll just put the stuff in and then, yeah. Hello, Patrick VJ. Yeah, okay. So this is jackfruit, fresh ripe jackfruit. It's interesting because I've had friends who have like never seen um, jackfruit before, like the fresh ones. Um, so I'm, I, I am actually very lucky to be here in Malaysia to, to get it. Um, so I'm picking out the seed. This part, this seed, if um, you eat cooked food, you can actually boil it, you, like boil it in uh, hot water for 20 minutes. I do like 10 15 minutes actually. And then you can eat it. It's like a um then peel off the skin and then you can eat it. It's um it tastes like a potato actually. Yeah, so I'm going to put in I'm just cutting out the the jackfruit to put it in. So there's some nice sweetness to the salad. Yeah. They, they come in like, um, the fruit is actually really big. Yeah, I think I'll put, maybe I'll put four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll put five pots in. Okay. I remember my first time I had durian was in Indonesia. Oh, which part of Indonesia? I had jackfruit first, so when I see durian, I thought it was jackfruit, and then it was durian. Here, but oh no! Do you do you like jackfruit? Uh, do you like durian now? I love durian. It's like my favorite fruit in the world. Um, jackfruit comes a close second. I love rambutans as well. Um, try to think like what else do I like? I like bananas, but depending on what kind of bananas as well. Yeah, we have so many bananas. But yeah, durian's like my favorite um, favorite fruit of all. Um, there's going to be two durian recipes in my um, course as bonus recipes. So the durian cookies as well as the durian pie. I love durian now, yay. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I um, apparently like the durian in Malaysia is one of the best durian in the world. So I, I realized that I'm really lucky, yeah. Back in the days, I didn't know how amazing it is. Yeah, I think now, it's only now, like, since I became raw vegan, I like, really appreciate, like, um, you know, like, the fruit and the so much tropical goodness here in Malaysia. Before that, not so, I didn't, I think I didn't appreciate it so much. Yeah. Because now when my friends are going like, oh, we can only eat frozen durian. I'm like, really? But we get fresh ones here. Oh, during durian season. And then they're like, oh, like this thing, you know. Uh, hold on, let me wipe my hands. Where's my... Where is the... Hmm. Anyway, where's my cloth? Oh. Okay. Uh, were you born vegan? No, no. Um, uh, my family is not vegan at all. None of my extended family members are vegan. Um, oh, wait, I want to show you tempeh. So I made this tempeh. This is from uh, yellow split peas. I love the smell. Um, this is how tempeh should look like. Not those gross looking things that I that have been pasteurized and all that. This is unpasteurized. This is homemade tempeh. I have a course on 
how to make tempeh from scratch um so yeah look at it oh my god it's so pretty and um mm, mm, i'm putting this yeah when it's fresh you don't even need any um you don't need any seasonings at all actually yeah link is in my bio if you want to check that out oh my god tempeh looks so it does doesn't it oh it's so good in salads okay let me answer the question one by one was i born vegan no um in the early 90s like um i was in college then um, let me think i was doing my law degree in 92 to 95. oh these are my green lentil sprouts um they are sprouted but well they've been soaked yeah i soaked them last night i think and then i rinsed them this one's this particular brand the tails don't come out so so i just like use it as that and then um wow so many questions am i am i married ha <laughs> i think that's one question i'm not gonna answer <laughs> yeah yeah but i'll answer the other questions okay back to am i vegan and intermittent fasting right am i keto no 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 i'm not keto i do not believe in keto um i don't think keto is sustainable um right now i am listening to a lot of dr Furman's videos and dr Furman is strongly against keto but even before um you know dr Furman, i wasn't i i do not believe in keto um yeah oh i'm gonna put in let me see oh we still have a bit of greens this is uh i plucked from the garden today uh <laughs> she's a raw vegan chef you can be vegan keto too. No, um, keto is like quite high um, fat. I am high carb, low fat, raw vegan, um, oil free. Well, mostly raw vegan, high raw. Yeah. Okay, so this is my. Oh, I don't think I have any left. I'm so sad. I like to ferment something, but there's not much left. But I'm gonna use it as part of the. Um, I'm just going to put a bit in for the dressing. Yeah, I like your positive energy and cute personality. Aww, so sweet. Yeah. Um, let me go back to my story about uh, becoming vegan. So basically, um, I read about like the dangers of meat um, in the early 90s, like 93, maybe 94. So I started cutting down on meat and um but you know every in the 90s everybody's like oh make sure you get your protein and all that so i still had a bit of fish so i was kind of kind of pescatarian unless when i was like you know under pressure like in social situations especially with family right um oh i'm see so the wakame has uh rehydrated so just now it was tiny, now it's like nice and big, so I'm gonna put that in. So anyway, um, so I was kind of like, I think I would call myself flexitarian. So like eight, about 80% veggies um, from the early 90s, a bit of fish, and then um, a bit of meat, like in social situations with my friends, with my, um, with my relatives, with my family. And then in 2014, um, I've heard about vegans, but they were always very angry. <laughs> so I was a bit afraid of vegans, actually. Yeah, because they were also angry. And then in 2014, I was looking for a... Um, I bought an ice cream maker. Okay, I'm going to put in these chilies as well. Yeah. And um, you guys are funny. Slap, slap, slap. Don't need to get violent here. Do you eat three times a day? Yes, I eat three times. No, I eat four. Okay, I eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then usually between lunch and dinner, I snack because I'm like really hungry. So, um, not really hungry, but usually after I eat this about four o'clock, I'm hungry. So I usually have a snack and it's, um, you know, I'll just have more jackfruit or I have some fruit. I'll have fruit as snack, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, you're talking to a Malaysian raw vegan chef here. How was I being rude exactly? Control yourself. You guys are hilarious. Okay. Back to my story. So, um, in 2014, I found this... Uh, have you heard of Emily? Uh, she had this blog called This Rawesome Vegan Life. So anyway, I was looking for ice cream recipes and then I found her blog and she had like a raw vegan lasagna. So I was like, oh my god, that looks so cool. So I, so I decided to make that, try it and make it and it tasted so good. And I was like, wow, how does it taste so good, you know? Oh, oh. I still have this. This is like cranberry hibiscus. So I'm going to put that in my um, salad as well. So anyway, I made the raw vegan lasagna. It took me like two hours to make it because I was not a chef then. You know, I was still like trying to figure out what I want to do in life and all that. And then, um, so I was like, wow, this tastes so great. And then I found Matthew Kenny and then I was like, wow. At that time, Matthew Kenny had, was like very much raw. So, um, I thought like, wow, the pictures look so beautiful and so pretty and it's like, vegan and it's raw and then um so in 2015 i um i took his uh course uh the first course i think it was i don't know but it was basically a course i can't remember what the name really so long ago um basically it's a um a raw vegan course on how to make everything you know so i, I like how to make beverages how to make breakfast lunch dinner soups everything i took that and then for one whole year, I was just like making raw vegan food almost every day in 2015. And then in 2016, and then they opened up a um, culinary academy, Matthew Kenny Culinary in Thailand, which is near, I mean like nearer where I live. So I decided to go and take two more courses there. Um, yeah, and then when I came back, people were always like very curious to know what I'm doing and people were like, what's this? What's this raw? Like, how do you do it? Teach me and all that. So I started, um, I started getting invited to do workshops. So I started doing workshops and then, um, yeah. And then I never stopped ever since. And then I started getting invited to, you know, present at vegan festivals, vegan events. Um, and then, you know, when the crazy things happened, I, I moved online and I created like, 27 raw, uh, vegan courses okay this is my salad so far yeah yeah and then ooh, are you guys arguing i didn't ask you learn some manners don't reply me you need to do your research about raw vegan she's a very talented woman she can watch video in double speed not everyone has that talent <laughs> thanks guys okay so um uh, I never said anything bad about her. In fact, I love Roshavi after her TED talk. I don't know what your problem is. Maybe shut up. Oh, thanks for watching my TED talk. Cool. Okay, so this is natto. I always add in natto in um, my salads as well when I have it. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's in um, styrofoam, but that's the only thing that I can get. Um, natto is um, the, the beans are cooked, but I consider it living food because um, it's fermented. Yeah, so uh, what you do is make sure like it has this stuff, just like throw it away um, because that may not be vegan. Plus it's just processed, so we don't want that. But this is the natto. Yeah, some people don't like the taste, but I think it's just how you eat it. Um, yeah, sorry guys, there's a lot of plastic. Um, don't give me hate for it. <laughs> yeah, if not, I would just block you. But anyway. Where is my fork? Ah, this is a clean fork. So what you're supposed to do is like, yeah, mix it so it becomes fluffy. Ame says it looks amazing. Do you eat fermented foods like kimchi? I'm worried because they use a lot of sugar. Oh, I make my own fermented foods. I make my own kimchi so there's no sugar. <laughs> good. Um, okay, that's a good reminder because I haven't put in my kimchi yet. So, okay, so I'm gonna in some just into the salad sometimes i actually like to eat it on its own as well but you know since i'm demonstrating today i'll put it into my salad just for the fun of it this has vitamin k um lots of probiotics consider a superfood so i would do that yeah okay um you um 
HP new one. I I um no, I don't use sugar. I use you can use dates. Uh I use apple. Um search my YouTube. I actually have a really good kimchi recipe there. So this is my kimchi. Um I plucked the jambu ae from the tree in um in my neighborhood in my compound like it, the 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 fruits were all falling off and no one was taking them so i took all this and then i made some kimchi so yeah the sugar is not needed to ferment i don't know um no some people say the salt is needed although um i've made salt free kimchi although i don't really like the taste of salt free kimchi it doesn't taste like kimchi yeah but you don't need to have sugar you can if you want, you can put some unrefined coconut sugar. But I just put um, apples. Yeah, apples work great. Yeah, that's a good idea. No, you don't. You may need, you may need non iodized salt. Yeah. You can use like celery to ferment it as well. So I, so I, I put the kimchi in. Let me see what else. I think I'm done. Oh! Um. I had some red bell peppers from my wrap yesterday so and um you know this is like marinated with cumin and oregano and miso and all that i think i can't remember <laughs> so i'm gonna put that into do you add lemon juice uh no i don't add lemon juice to my kimchi i sometimes add uh, miso paste yeah but no Kimchi basically just like I basically just put salt, well some onion, garlic, um, you know, uh, water and salt. That's what it is. Try to see like I think I put everything in. Oh, I need to put in my goji berries because now they've like kind of dehydrated. I don't want to add salt, but I don't want to replace salt. Um, some people say that you can take celery and make celery juice and do that but i always think i want to do that and then i never do it um i know like chef bravo uh he makes like pickles with like um beet leaves and he says the beet leaves are very salty so you can do that as well yeah do you do raw vegan 24 uh 7 do you have cheat days or cheat meals where where Ooh, these are all really great questions. Uh, Mr. Jess Guitarist, you boleh screen capture tak? It's like, they're such good questions. Um, or cheat meals. Do you have cravings for fried mullet? Okay, okay, one by one. Uh, do I do raw vegan 24 7? Uh, I try as much. Oh, this is my salad. Uh, and then and then I'll put the, um, the dressing. But I think I want to take a picture first. So anyway, I try as much as possible to do um, raw vegan. I'm not like 100% raw. Um, when I travel, I usually have a raw breakfast and a raw dinner and then lunch I have cooked. But I'm always vegan. Um, when I eat out with my friends and all that, I also, um, yeah, I, I, I basically, if I do have to eat a cooked meal, I try and make it uh, lunch only and I always make sure that I try and make sure that I have like a big raw salad with me while eating some cooked food as well. Yeah, but um, but yeah, but I try not to eat that much cooked food. Like in a week, at the most, I eat like two to three times, three meals of cooked food. Yeah, so that that's what it is. Unless I'm like traveling every single day and I'm away. Yeah, okay. Um, do I have cheat days or cheat meals? I don't like to think of it. I don't like to think of things like cheat, you know? Because I'm like... I remember who was it was saying like, if you do cheat stuff, then it's like you're just cheating yourself, you know? So, um, no, I never call it cheat days and all that. Um, but I eat whatever I want for a day. But I do really like eating my salads. Well, there are days where I get like bored of eating the salads. Um, the thing is... When I eat my cook, when I do eat cooked meals, I always feel bad after that. I like the taste during that time when I eat it, but then after that, I feel sluggish. I feel like, uh, ooh, oh, I should have eaten so much cooked food. So um, I don't even view them as cheat days. I'd be like, 
um yeah because at one time my my fingers i had like a eczema flare up so um so i was trying to rest my fingers so i ate a bit more cooked food and i didn't really like that yeah i prefer to eat raw yeah do you have cravings for fried food mm, i don't like fried food anymore i think i used to but because um i oh so i started transitioning from 2015 to 2016 to become vegan so um what happened was like i think sometime in 2015 i became vegetarian and then um and then i was vegan at home but vegetarian when i uh, traveled and then sometime in 2016 it was just like you know just vegan all the way i remember like i opened my fridge and like threw out threw out the the cheese yeah i had like cheese and whatever non-vegan food i had in my fridge and i just threw them all out um but yeah, so it's been many years already, so I don't actually like fried food. I mean, I look at fried food and go, oh, no, 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 never, like, please don't feed this to me, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, I do have to say, though, the other day, I was out with friends after we went hiking. I had banana leaf rice, and they had, like, the, this, like, fried chili, and I was like, do I have it? Do I not have it? Do I have it? Do I not have it? So I had a little bit, and then, then I felt guilty about it, so, yeah. I try and avoid deep fried, I think, like fry, in Malaysia there's so much fried food so I still eat a bit, but like if it's deep fried, I just keep saying no. And then my friends are like, why are you not eating this? And I'm like, it's deep fried. So like the papadum is deep fried, so I gave it to another friend to eat, I didn't want to eat it, yeah. Yeah, uh, Malaysian Ramadan food, ooh, um, I, I, I do love rendang and so I, um, I came up with a raw vegan rendang recipe. So whenever I have a craving for something and I can't find it, then I come up with that recipe and I try to eat that. So yeah, that's my way of doing it. Yeah. Um, do I do... I know there was a question about intermittent fasting, right? Um, intermittent fasting. Uh, intermittent fasting. Yes, I'm doing that. I've done been doing that uh, for many years. Um... Last time, I think 2016, 2017, maybe 2017, I started that. Um, but that time, my eating window was 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. But then that didn't work so well because it's like, I'm like, oh my god, I wake up like 5, 6, so I have to wait until 12 to eat. So now uh, my eating window is 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So yeah, so 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. I don't eat at all. Uh, and that works great for me. And then I just like turn down dinner requests and go like, oh no, I can't do dinner. We have to do lunch with friends because I'm um, doing my intermittent fasting. Yeah. But jumbo juice and lemon juice is high in fructose, which is just fruit sugar. No, no, I mean um, sugar and... Um, but uh, the thing is, it's not... The thing is, this is whole fruit. So if it's whole fruit, it it's fine, you know. It's like it's not like high in fruit sugar. I don't I don't view things like that. It's I think it, when it becomes like a commercial juice and all that, then that becomes high in sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do 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 do. Do I have I missed any questions on? Yeah. Uh, were I born vegan? I think I answered that. Um, do I do intermittent fasting? I've answered that. Uh, oh, rice, right? Um, do I eat rice? So I sometimes make like rice from hikama, or I sometimes make cauliflower rice or broccoli rice. Uh, yeah, that's one thing that's a bit hard to give. That I found it very hard to give up. I love like cooked rice oh i was trying to bloom some rice two days ago but it didn't bloom properly so i don't know whether it's like the it says like organic black wild rice or uh, forbidden rice it's not really forbidden rice it's just black rice so it couldn't be bloomed um so when i eat out i do eat rice yeah but in malaysia uh, not in malaysia in my kitchen um i I don't like. I say I make. Uh, I make. Call it, I I like to make hikama rice, but Mr. Jess guitarist doesn't like hikama rice. I love raw vegan lasagna. Yeah, I haven't made that for a really long time. I think I kind of got bored of it. But if somebody makes it for me, I don't mind. I had a raw vegan lasagna in Plant Food and Wine in um in Venice. 
and California. I really like that one. Yeah. Uh, sh uh, shut up. Oh no, don't. Yeah, don't be rude. <laughs> uh, okay. Da da da. You can make your own kimchi. You wanna? Don't reply to me, please. <laughs> you guys are funny. Yeah. Okay. Is there salt in miso paste? Ah, so um, yes, there is salt in miso paste. But there is a video by Dr. Gregor um, that talks about like the sodium in a miso paste is different from the sodium in salt. So he he actually does recommend like if you want something salty, you can, um, yeah, he, he, he does say like, you know, you can use miso paste. Yeah. So I use that. Da, 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 da. Why you wear gloves? Oh, because um, my hands are not 100% okay yet. So I wanted to keep it dry. Yeah, that's why I was wearing the gloves. Because uh, when I had my eczema flare up, for two weeks, I wasn't wearing gloves and it became all wet. And then like, um, yeah, the, my, my fingers didn't heal. So I had to wear the gloves. Yeah. Synergy. Oh, hi, 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 Synergy. Good to see you. Uh, you look so young for your age. Have you done any plastic surgery? So I turned 50 this year. Uh, no, I don't believe in plastic surgery. Oh my god. Also so slim for your age. Um, I, I do a movement practice every morning and I go to the park three times a week to walk. Um, I do qigong. Yeah, qigong. Uh, I want to say like, oh, oh, qigong as the westerners call it. But it's not qigong. It's spelled G-O-N-G, but it's not gong. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's qi gong. Gong. I, I also don't pronounce it properly. Because when I say I do qi gong, like some of my Chinese friends are like, what's that? Then they're like, oh, it's qi gong. I think it's gong, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Have you done any bariatric surgery? Like gastric bypass? No. No. Um, <laughs> trying to avoid any surgery whatsoever. Yeah, even like when, when my fingers were like had the really bad eczema thing um, This time around, I was just like I don't want to get any creams and I don't want to see any doctors Because I had like one of my followers is like Oh, time to see a doctor because after two, three weeks it did not heal And I'm like, no! In the end, I just used like a baking soda paste and then it healed it Most of it It was good yesterday, today it didn't Today it's like, oh my god, is it coming back? I did something that yeah, I, I put um some oil on it and then yesterday because I thought it would help with the moisturizing and then today it flared up again. So I think I'm not doing any oil whatsoever. I'm just going to do baking soda again. Yeah, so no, no, no surgery. Gastric bypass again, I think I think it was Dr. Furman or Dr. Madugal talked about the bypass about like how um yeah, you, you, you gain weight again. So no. Yeah, thank you for answering my questions. You're welcome. I haven't eaten food, fried food for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, what do you have in the bowl? Oh, okay. Here you go. So there's one pound of greens, 450 grams of greens. Uh, mainly Asian greens. There's some watercress. There's some kangkong. There's some pak choy. Pak, pak choy. Um, and then there's some ulam raja, uh, pagaga. Yeah, Malaysian stuff. And then um, there's some tempeh. My homemade tempeh. Take my course, <laughs> how to make tempeh from scratch. Scratch if you're interested. Um, link is in the bio. There's um, yellow bell peppers. There's green lentil sprouts. Um, there's natto, wakame, goji berries, jackfruit, um, kimchi, uh, cranberry hibiscus, Brazil nuts. Mm. Oh, I had some beans, long beans, four angled beans. Yeah, so that's what's in the bowl. Um, I also put some of my, I, I like to ferment my balimin bulo, so I put some of the brine inside. Um, I have a bit of leftover. This is like meat from macadamia. So I put that inside. Oh, I have a bit of, um, I think two or three Thai chilies in here as well. Yeah, so that's in the bowl. Uh, you have to show how to make hikama rice, please, and thank you. Basically, just peel it. And then uh, process it into rice consistency and then you need to put it in a nut milk bag to squeeze out the water so it's drier. 
If you want it dry, if not, you can just eat it on its own. Yeah. Regular water, too late. Sorry, go enjoy from the start. No problem. You can watch the replay. Have you tried using aloe or coconut on your hands before? Yeah, I mean, I did because someone suggested that I use aloe. And then I put the aloe and then the next day it became super itchy. I do eat aloe. Um, I was supposed to cut this as well but I got a bit lazy. So yeah, that's my aloe. You know what, I'm just going to cut it. Uh, yeah, I should cut it. Yeah. So yeah, it became super itchy so I'm not ever going to put aloe on my fingers again. I used to use aloe a lot last time. It never really helped. Because I, I suffered from eczema from like 30 years. And um, yeah, the main reason I became raw vegan is because it cleared up after that. So, you know. Uh, so I, I, um, I just like, oh, I'm convinced. Because I tried like all sorts of things to try and heal the eczema. And it didn't heal until I became raw vegan. I mean, I did like Ayurvedic. I did like traditional Chinese. I did like... Um, Western medicine, um, it was horrible. They just kept giving me like uh, steroid creams. They kept giving me like Batnovate and all that. Yeah, and it made my skin like really thin. Yeah, and I kept falling sick all the time. Like, ugh. it was horrible, so yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna eat the aloe. I won't put it on the skin because I find it becomes itchy, but eating it, I think it's fine. I mean, I've been eating it all this while. Yeah. So, bring that in as well. Yeah, now I'm wondering like, ooh. No, I think it's fine because I've been eating it and it hasn't been a problem. It's only when I put it on the thing. Uh, do you take any supplements, any antidepressants, ADHD uh, medication? So um, I do B12. Yeah, that's the only supplement I take right now. Um, I go walk in the sun every day for my vitamin D. Uh, no antidepressants, um, any ADHD medication. No, I don't think I'm diagnosed as ADHD, so no medications. Um, I do meditate every morning uh, and then I started trying to do this yoga nidra practice uh, every day and then I kind of forgot about it and then I think I need to get back to that yeah I grow Thai chili too yay uh, don't eat the aloe skin yeah it's toxic no I didn't yeah so I just um, what I did I was I take the scoop and then I just kind of like scooped it out so I'm not eating the skin don't worry yeah I'm just eating the gel yeah I read about like Elo like many many years ago, like oh, I don't know when I was 10 or something. Uh, maybe orange juice will help. Have you tried drinking some orange juice? I find my skin super smooth after fresh squeezed orange juice. Um, I can try. I just got four oranges yesterday so I can try that. Yeah. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna go now because I need to go and eat my salad and my lunch. But thanks so much for accompanying me <laughs> on me making. Um, my uh, salad. So the ultimate raw vegan bundle is taking place on um, 1st of May. I will do be, I've already lined up some lives so um, um, during the bundle week uh, I'll see you guys even more often. Yeah, yeah. Can you give us tips on meditation and yoga for beginners? I can't sit down still and concentrate meditate. Please help me recommend me videos. Um, I actually like to do the Deepak Chopra meditation and they also have a free app but they have like loads of um, free videos on YouTube for Deepak Chopra so I do that yoga I used to do yoga but now I do qigong um, for qigong I do um, it's qi uh, well, no. qigong q i g o n g uh, the the YouTube the person I follow is um, qigong with Seni, it's K S E N Y, I think. Yeah, and then um, yeah, I have to go. I want to eat. I want to eat mindfully. I don't want to be like talking and eating. So I want to like eat and chew and chew like 20, 20 times before I swallow. So I'm gonna do that. Um, thank you. Love you so much. You're so inspiring. You're most welcome. Um, Ame says I know Chico. Yeah, cool. Ah, Seni, K S E N Y. So you can check that one out. Yeah. Okay, guys. 
Uh, yeah, amazing go eat. Yeah, 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 I'll go eat. I'll see you guys um, next week from May 1st onwards. Bye.